Hi, we would like to show you our setup with a uh, Bridgeport Series 1 step head that we've converted to vol full uh, variable frequency drive. Uh, this is proving to be a really nice setup. We're very happy with how it works. Just thought we'd give a little video here to walk you through it. Um, we have, as you can see in here, we've swapped this thing over to just a single speed pulley. The reason for doing that <clears throat> is on an earlier version we had experimented with just using the existing cone pulleys front and back. The problem is that when you start running lower speeds and high torques, you don't get enough traction on those. Um, you need a, something close to a one-to-one -one ratio for this to work right. And the intermediate pulley speeds, you have so little contact area on the V-belt. So by going to a single pulley, we've gone to a much larger one. We have a slight reduction between the motor and the uh, spindle end. But that gives us just huge contact area because I think that's an 8-inch front pulley and... I don't know, something in the neighborhood of a 7-inch rear pulley that we've got going here. So just tons of contact area, so you eliminate all that belt slippage. But let me fire it up and show you how this works a minute. So we've mounted the variable frequency drive on the back of the rim here. You can see we got just a little plate that gets it up away from all coolant, chips, anything like that. But then it also allows you to go ahead and see the readout on it. Right now I have it set to read um, motor speed which is going to be reasonably close to spindle speed. Unfortunately, I can't reprogram it you know, to compensate and read actual spindle speed. But So really, it's off by about 10% from spindle speed. But for normal application, it's not a big deal. Most of the time, if you're wanting to run a uh, tool, really you don't care so much what the speed is as you do if you found a speed that works nice, you want to be able to use it repeatedly. So. Let's try this thing out. Here's our controls. We have a forward and reverse switch here, on and off switch. This is a reset. We have this thing set up so that the motor, um, if it draws, this motor is rated for up to 7.8 amps. We've upgraded this to a two horse motor, by the way. Um, I've got the freak drive set up so that if you try to draw more than 7.8 amps, it'll fault out and shut the thing down. So nice safety feature, it won't let you smoke your motor. But if you do that, then that's what this reset button is for, is to let you reset so it'll let you start again. This, of course, your speed control rheostat, <clears throat> but I'll fire it up here a minute now. So you can see our uh, freak drive says we're turning 1,046 RPM. I've got this set up for a one second ramp up time and a one and a half second ramp down time. <clears throat> that means is if I set it to, well, let's see here, right now they were turning about 2000 RPM. I flip the switch off, it's shut down, it power breaks to a stop in a second and a half. Now, where this gets really astounding is I can be screaming along. Like right here is top speed. We're turning uh, 3,450 RPM at the motor. I can flip my reverse switch. In that amount of time, it just went to a full stop and reverse 3,450 RPM, but without the radical shock to the motor and spindle that you normally get by flipping the switch on a uh, normal three phase setup without the freak drive. Now where that gets really slick is power tapping. So I can turn this thing all the way down. You can see here's my minimum speed, 345 RPM. It's just crawling because we do have a reduction going on. So our spindle is turning, I got to think here, probably 250 RPM. I flip the reverse on this. It's almost instantaneous, but no slams, no bangs, no booms, none of that. And by the way, crazy amounts of torque at that speed. I can't even begin to bog it down by hand. So anyway, very nice setup. The other advantage to this system is that we are single phasing in right now. So this is 220 single phase into this freak drive, comes out as 223 phase with infinitely variable speed. Um, the other really slick feature we've got set up here is we have converted this machine to a modern full electronic pressure lube system and that's controlled by the freak drive so every time you power the machine up it kicks in the lube pump for five seconds and then if you run continuous the lube pump kicks in on its own every hour and a half of operation if you run for that long the beauty of that is, is it takes the operator error right out of it we have seen so many of these machines tore up and damaged from operators forgetting to run hit the manual lube pump this turns that into a totally foolproof setup. So, 
in a nutshell, there you have it. Really nice setup, and uh, we're looking forward to putting more of these together.